Well, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is my co-host, Mr. Brody here. Ready to do another video from 1978, Red Sox Replay. All right, Mr. Brody? This is a game from June 3rd of 1978. And we play another game between the Red Sox and the California Angels. It's going to be Mike Torres on the mound for the Red Sox against Chris Knapp for the California Angels. So without further ado, let's get this game underway, right, Mr. Brody? Here we go. Alrighty. So the Red Sox take on the Angels in California. It's going to be Chris Knapp on the mound for the California Angels, as we said earlier. He's got a 4 and 5 record with a 5.37 ERA. 69 innings pitch, 71 hits, 32 walks, and 42 strikeouts, and he's earned five home runs. He was actually 14 on eight, and 8 on the regular season with a 4.21 ERA. So the Red Sox lineup is as follows. Jerk Burleson, the shortstops, will bat first. Jerry Remy, the second baseman, bat second. Jim Rice is your left fielder, batting third. Batting cleanup is Kyle Yastrzemski, the first baseman. Batting fifth is behind the plate is Carlin Fisk. Batting sixth, Fred Lynn, the center fielder. Jack Brohammer is DH, batting seventh. Dwight Evans, the right fielder, will bat eighth. And batting ninth is the third baseman, Butch Hobson. That's your Red Sox lineup. So without further ado, let's get the game underway. So Chris Knapp takes the hill. Downing throws him the sign. Here's the wind-up in the pitch to Burleson. That's going to be off Burleson's three column. That's going to be a fly ball to center field. Bostock's under it. And he makes the catch for out number one. Next up is Jerry Remy, the second baseman, hitting 299 with a homer and 17 runs batted in. We did not give you a Burleson stat, so we'll get him next time. So it's going to be out to five column of nap. And that will be a strikeout. Swinging, looks like. Nope, actually it was a strikeout looking as the bat was still in the cock position. So two down now for Jim Rice, who's hitting 324 with 18 homers and 48 runs batted in. Red Sox leader in home runs and RBIs. Now looks in for the sign from Downing. Here's the windup in the pitch. It's going to be off a three column. And that will be a two-out walk. So two down and Rice on first for Yastrzemski. Captain's hitting 276 with six homers and 26 runs batted in. Knapp looks in for the sign from Downing. Here's the line to pin the pitch. It's going to be off the four column of Knapp. And that will be a liner to first, uh, second, as Rich will grab it for out number three. So the Red Sox are 8 and 2 in their last game. And obviously, they want to win tonight, as it says in the text. So Mike Torres, Torres, <laughs> is on the mound. 
He is undefeated on the season. He's 8-0, so off to an excellent start with a 2.81 ARA. 80 innings pitch, 71 hits allowed, 28 walks and 40 strikeouts, and has allowed 4 homers. So he'll try to continue his unbeaten streak. And the California lineup will follows. It will be, let's say, Keith Landro. Ken Landro. Ken Landro, the right fielder, will bat first. Bobby Gritch, the second baseman, bat batting second. Lyman Bostock is the center fielder, batting third. Batting cleanup is Joe Rudy, the left fielder. Batting fifth will be the DH, Hall of Famer Don Baylor. Ron Fairley will bat sixth and play first. Third baseman, Carney Lansford, future Red Sox, batting seventh. Ryan Downing is behind the plate, batting eighth. And R Rance Molnix is the shortstop, batting ninth. That's your lineup for the home California Angels. And it's a good night here in Anaheim. As you can see by the weather report in the lower left right hand corner of the screen. So singles will be a ballpark effects would be singles for lefties and righties 1 to 13 and homers 1 to 10 for each one. Um, and I'm stating gives up on average less doubles as evidenced by that 92. 100 is average so 92 is below average and 87 even even harder to get a triple. So Torres will look in for the sign from Fisk. The Red Sox in their normal defense. Here's the windup in the pitch. And that's going to be off the sixth column of Torres. And that will be a leadoff walk. So Landro is on for Bobby Gritch. 216, hit over the homer and 15 runs batted in. And Landro's unable to get the lead. And now he does, he does get the lead, so it's gonna be a 65% chance, so we're definitely gonna to try to throw him out. So Fisk is gonna to try to gun him down. Here's the throw by Fisk. And it's a great wild throw by Fisk to the right, right of second into center. And that will be an error in E2 on Fisk on the throw, and Landro is on third now. So run on third with nobody out. The error by Fisk. Credit Landro with a stolen base. The Angel are in business. It's going to be a ground ball to second. Should, the run should come home on this. Range check on Remy, the second baseman here. And Remy will be up to Jastrzemski and make the play, and Landro will come home. So it'll be an RBI for Gritch. Angels take a 1 nothing lead. Lyman Bostock up now. Hitting 318 with 4 homers and 24 runs batted in. It's going to be off his 1 column. And that will be a base hit. Just over Remy's leap. So a run on first with 1 down for Joe Rudy, the left fielder. Rudy's hitting 295 with 4 homers and 10 runs batted in. And he will walk. Second walk given up by Torres. Brings up the DH Don Baylor. He did 293 with 18 homers and 45 runs batted in. And that will be a strikeout swing. So two down now. The runners on first and second for Ron Fairley, the veteran. He did 242 with three homers and 13 runs batted in. Torres trying to get out of the inning without any further damage. And that will be a ground ball to Remy. Flips over to Yastrzemski. And that'll do it. The Angels are on the board first. And after one full lead at 1 nothing. So Knapp now has the lead. It'll be Fisk, Lynn, and Brohammer up for the Red Sox here in the second. Fisk comes into the game hitting 292 with 5 homers and 25 runs batted in. And he will strike out swinging. Second K of the day by now. That'll bring up Fred Lynn. Fred Lynn, a 291 hit with 14 homers and 40 runs batted in second on the team in homers behind Rice. And this is gonna get he's gonna get a good pitch to hit here. Let's see what happens. And 
and he will hit one just out of the reach of Bostock. It'll go all the way to the wall, and he'll be on second with a one-out double. Will Hamill with a chance to knock in a run here. 258 on the season with six runs batted in. And he'll waste a single up the middle. And Lynn will stop at third. So run is at the corners of the one down for Dewey Evans. Heading 268 with eight homers and 22 runs bet in. About 20 points above his 247 season average. And Evan will get a good pitch to hit off Knapp's card. And he'll hit one over Bostock's head, go all the way to the wall. So Lynn will come in and Rohan will be held up at third. And we have a tie ball game. 1-1. One, one. Hey, Miss Mags. Miss Mags has come to join us. Come to say hi. So, all right. Runners on second and third for Butch Hobson. Butch Hobson is hitting 271 with seven homers and 23 runs batted in. 250 hitter on the season. Chance for her. Give the Red Sox the lead here. It's going to be off the five column. And that will be a strikeout swinging. Trying to go deep with that swing, but missed it. So that'll bring up Rick Burleson. Rick Burleson, 275, hit it with a homer and 17 runs bat in. Top of the Red Sox order. And that's going to be off the four call of now. Oh, I just missed that. As a one would have been a double, but we will make the catch for out number three. The Red Sox do get on the board, and after one and a half, it's tied up at one. So it'll be Lansford, Downing, and Mulnix up for the Angels here in the bottom of the second. Lansford is hitting 261 with a homer and 15 runs bat in. Torres is four column, and that'll be a fly ball to Lennon Center, and he'll make the catch for out number one. Let's take a look at the Stratomatic scoreboard here. Minnesota's edge in Detroit, 1-0. Cleveland, Milwaukee are scoreless. Texas and Toronto are also scoreless. White Sox are edging the Royals, 1-0. Yankees and the A's are scoreless. Mesa Smith and Keogh dueling. Baltimore leads Seattle 1 0. McGregor and Mitchell currently dueling. And here in California, we're tied at 1. And I'll bring up Brian Downing, a 239 hitter on the season with a homer and 18 runs bat in. And he will hit a fly ball at the center. Flynn is under it. And he makes the catch for out number 2. Rance Mull mix up now. Rance is hitting 242 on the season with a homer and six runs batted in. So he's tied his home runs and RBI production for the season in uh, 24 fewer at bats. Average a bit better at 242 as opposed to the 185. Torres looks in for the sign. Here's this flashes him one. Here's the lineup in the pitch. And he will strike out swinging. So that'll bring up Jerry Remy here in the Red Sox top of the third. Remy a 290, 298 hitter. Struck out his first time up. And he will fly out to center. Bostock is under it. And makes the catch. One down. Jim Rice walked his first time up. And he will strike out. Swing. We're out number two. Brings up Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski lined out his first time up. And everybody's flying out to center as Yastrzemski flies out to Vasta. And that'll do it for the Red Sox here in the third. So the score remains 1-1. So 
top of the order at Landro up. He walked his first time up against Torres. And he'll lace a single just past the diver Remy. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. No, Remy, he didn't make the catch. Barehanded, actually. <laughs> We're out number one. So that brings up Bob Gritch. He had an RBI ground out to give California their run. And like everyone else, he flies out to center. So the center fields for both teams have been pretty busy so far. Brings up Bostock, singled his first time up. And he will strike out with a swing and a miss. Towards his third K of the day. And that'll be it for the Angels in the third. We've just Lynn and Brohammer up for the Red Sox here in the top of the fourth. Trying to break the tie. This struck out his first time up. And he'll strike out again. So five K's now in the day for now. Brings up Fred Lynn. Doubled his first time up. And be a range check on Gritch, a ground out. Be up with it over to Fairley for out number two. Brings up Brohammer, one for one on the day, singled his first time up. And flies out to center to end the inning. Why not? So, updated scoreboard Minnesota in front of Detroit, 3 0. Goltz comfortably ahead for Minnesota. Milwaukee slipping by Cleveland 2-0. Augustine battling Paxton. He used to be on the Red Sox. Texas slipping by Toronto 3-1. Zisk hit his fifth home run for Texas. Chicago edging Kansas City 1-0. And Oakland is blanking the Yankees, which is good, 4-0. Baltimore and Seattle are deadlocked at 1. Stein has hit his third home run for the Mariners. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Joe Rudy will lead it off. Walked his first time up. And that's going to be a ground ball to Remy. Torres. Oh, actually, Torres grabs it over to Ostromsky. Torres was able to get to it. Looked like it was going to go to Remy. So score that a 1 3. Brings up Don Baylor with one out. And he will fly out to Rice and left for out number two. California's managed just one hit so far off Torres. Brings up Fairley. Grounded out his first time up. And it'll be a range check on Torres, who has a three range. But he will just get to it. Gets in front of it. And make the play over to Ostremski for out number three. The Angels go in order in the fourth, and the score remains tied at one. So Evans leads it off for the Red Sox. He had an RBI double his first time up. And hits his Evans strikeout column, the two column. The strikeout for out number one. Nap up to six strikeouts on the day. Which Hobson, one of his victims, is up now. And he'll get a good pitch to hit here. And he'll hit a single up the middle. So a one-out base runner for the Red Sox brings up the Rooster. He's flown out twice so far. And he'll lace a single to right. He's a weak hitter. That home run turns into a single. So hops in on motors way all around the third. The run is at the corners now. For Jerry Remy, he struck out and flied out. So the Red Sox have an opportunity here to take the lead. It's going to be off of Naps 4 column. And Remy will get the Red Sox ahead with an RBI single. Hobson comes around the score. And the Red Sox are now up 2-1. So 
Jin Rice up now, walked in first and struck out in the third. And he'll get a hold of one here. Could could go all the way. And possible home runner out. Field ability is good. He's gonna jump for it. And he can't get it. It's just over his glove. And Jim Rice hits a three-run home run. Three run just over Rudy's glove. And the Red Sox are up now five to one. Slider bring up your strength. See now the Red Sox with a four-run lead. You lined out in the first and flied out in the third. Just like that, the Red Sox have taken the lead. And he will fly out to Landro on the right. Moves to his left and makes the catch. Oh, bobbled it, but held on. Caught it with his bare hand. So two down now for Fisk. She struck out both times he's been up against Nap in the second and the fourth. And he'll get a good pitch to hit here. Singles just past Lansford. Brings up Fredlin now. He's one for two of the double. And he'll walk. So the Red Sox threatening to score once again. Brings up Bro Hammer one for two. And he'll hit his single column, the only single on that column. Fisk will hold that third, and that'll load the bases for Dwight Evans. So the Red Sox a chance to have a big inning here. Evans can come through. He's already got an RBI double. One for two on the day. See what he can do here. And she strikes out. But the Red Sox get four, capped by a three-run homer by Jim Rice. Chant they did have a chance to score a lot more, but still, they took a 5-1 to one lead. So Torres with a comfortable lead now. He'll face Lansford, Downing, and Mullenix, the bottom third of the Angels' order. Lansford flew out in the second, his first time up. He'll ground ball back to Torres. Flips over to Stremski for the first out. Brings up Brian Downing, the catcher. Also flied out his first time up. But he'll get a good pitch to hit here. And he'll ground it right back to Torres, who will make an easy play to Yastrzemski for out number two. Molinick struck out his first time up. He'll hit a, uh -oh, a ground ball to Hobson, which is always an adventure. He will not be able to get to it. Oh, actually, he is able to get to it. And I think he's going to throw it away. Yep, throws it away. So we're going to credit that with a single and an E5. And he'll advance two bases on the air by Hobson. And Hobson will have a buddy there next to him at third, thanks to his error. So he made a made it worse by throwing it away. Should have just ate that one. The top of the order Landro up now. He's off for one little walk. And he will pop up to Remy, which will end it. So nothing nothing happened as a consequence of the error by Hobson. And after five full the Red Sox lead at five to one. It'll bring up Butch Hobson, struck out in the second, singled in the fifth. And he will single again up the middle. Almost the same spot he hit the first one. So the Red Sox have a lead up runner on for Rick Carlson. There's one for three with a single. He singled his last time up. Ground out to Gritch. He'll throw it over to Fairley to get the sure art at first. So Hobson will advance on the play. So run in scoring position with one down for Remy. He's one for three. I had an, R had an RBI single in the fifth. He will hit a ground ball at the first. Fairley will take it 
himself. He'll beat Remy on a close play. Hobson advances to third. So run is on. So a runner on third now with, for Jim Rice. He's one for two. Hit a big three-run home run to give the Red Sox a added to the lead. Now with three with a three-run homer. I believe his, I want to say his 19th of the season. See what he can do here. And it's going to go off the next four call. And he will line out to Mullenix at short. And the enemy. The Red Sox do not score. The score remains 5 1 Boston. Gritch leads it off. He's 0 for 2 with an RBI. And soft line drive to Burleson for out number one. Brings up Bostock. He's 1 for 2 with a single. And this is right in the heart of the plate. Let's see what he can do with it. And he will lace one over the head of Lynn all the way to the wall. And now himself a 1 out double. Run in scoring position, one down for Rudy. He's off for one with a walk. And then he will hit a fly ball to left. Rice is waiting on it. Pounds his mitt and makes the catch. So it'll be up to Don Bill if their Angels are going to get another run home. He's 0 for 2. He will lace a single up the middle. Bostock, who's running on the play, will come in to score. It's now 5-2 Red Sox on the RBI single by Don Baylor. Ron Fairley up now. He's grounded up twice. And he will fly out to center. Interesting to see how many fly outs the center there are in this game. <laughs> Nap back out on the hill. He's up to 116 pitches, so he they should be just about done as his action in the Angel bullpen. Stremski out now. He's 0 for 3. And he will hit a ground ball to Gritch. It'll be a range check on Gritch. And he will have his first hit. He's unable to get in front of it. And actually, he is able to get in front of me. He snags it, but throw is late. So that's kind of call that an infield single there for for Stremski. He has his first hit of the day. So Stremski's on to lead off the Red Sox seven. This up now. I mean, one for three. Singled his last time off. And he'll get a hold of one to right center field. And Bostock can just watch this one go. Two run home run for Fisk. And the Red Sox add to the lead now 7 2. Nap is still out there. Fred Lynn up now. And uh, here we go. That'll be it for now. Carl Hartzell will come on here in the top of the seventh. He's got a 1-0 record with a 3.00 ERA over 15 innings. Hartzell looks in for the sign from Downing. There's a windup in the pitch. Fredlin's 1-2 for two today with a double, and he's also a lot. And he'll have himself his second hit of the day as he lines a single up the middle. on first for Brohammer who's two for three. He's got a couple singles sandwiched around to fly out. And he lines out to Gritch, he'll make the grab. Lynn back to first. Route number one. Check the scores again. Minnesota will lead over Detroit 3-0. Milwaukee top of Cleveland 2-0. Augustine and Paxson currently dueling. Texas on top of Toronto 3-1. Chicago on top, Kansas City 3-0. So, 
Crave it comfortably ahead for Chicago. Oakland still ahead of the Yankees now 7-2. Excellent. Baltimore with the lead over Seattle 4-1. And here it's 7-2 Red Sox. So Evans will lead it off the Red Sox. Got an RBI double on the day. This time he'll ground out the Fairley. And as Lynn moves up the second. Hobson up now. He's singled his last two times up. You know the fly ball to Bostock in center, who is a two range, so one to three will be a hit. Anything else will be a out. He gets in front of it, and he'll make the catch for out number three. So after six and a half, the Red Sox lead seven to two. Seventh inning stretch time here. Mr. Brody with the trivia question. What two American League non-Yankee players each hit 58 home runs in a single season? So what two American League non-Yankee players each hit 58 home runs in a single season? Came out. This is a 2017 edition, so I imagine it's up to date. <sighs> Two non Yankee players in the American League hit 58 home runs. Uh, that gets rid of Maris, Ruth, and um, Mantle, so let's see. Who else would they be? 58 home runs, huh? Will he maze ever hit that many? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think Kilbrew hit that many. I don't think anybody for the Red Sox hit that many. Ortiz didn't hit quite that many. Could be Jimmy Fox, possibly. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to go with... Jimmy Fox and I don't know Willie. I don't think Hank Aaron hit that many. And Jimmy Fox and Willie Mays. I don't know. <laughs> Lock in your answers. That's a good one. Here's your answer. Jimmy Fox and Hank Greenberg. Oh, okay. So Hank Greenberg. You got one out of two right there. So that's a good question, trivia question there, Mr. Brody. So, all right, so two two down. I'm sorry. Um, beginning of the, of the seventh inning there. And 0 for 2 is Connie Lansford. I was looking at his fly out and ground out there. So, Lansford 0 for 2 against Torres. He's back out in the mound. Yeah. Very, very economical. 86 pitches through six innings. Not too bad. Lansford will lead it off. And that will be a fly ball to right. Evans is under it, and I think that's the first catch by Evans in right today. Most everything has either gone to left or especially center. So Brian Downey up now, he's over two on the day. He's gonna up his one column. And he will hit one just out of the reach of Lynn. And Rice. And Rice is at the warning track, stumbles a little. And as it watches it bounce off the wall. So a double for Downing. So a one out double. Brings up Rance Mullenix. He reached on a single and advanced the third on a two base error by Hobson. And he came around to score. No, he did not score actually. As he was stranded there. But we're in scoring position now for him. RBI opportunity. That will be wasted as he flies out to right and left. Two outs now for Downing. Trots back to second. Top of the order, Landro. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. And he will lace a single to left and see if they're going to send him. And we're going to prevent the trailing runner from advancing. And we'll let that run the score. Now 
seven to three game. Downey comes in, score California's third run. So Gritch up now. He's 0 for 3 on the day. Does have an RBI and a ground out. And it's going to be a curveball from Torres. And Landros off on the pitch. And he's going to hold on to it. So Landros with the stolen base. Kind of risky with down by 4. But which will get under one and hit one to Rice, who will make the catch for out number three. But the Angels do score one and now trail by four going to the eighth. Top of the order, Brilson, Remy and Rice up against Hartzell, who's on for his second inning of relief. And he'll get under one and pop it up to Rick. Gritch, who'll make the catch for out number one. Gonna bring up Jerry Remy, one for four with an RBI single. And make that one for five as he'll ground out to Gritch for out number, excuse me, out number two. The Rice up now with two down and nobody on. He had a three-run homer back in the fifth. And he'll get a second here today as he lines one just to the right of the second base bag. So he's jumps up now, singled his last time up. And he'll get a good one to hit here and see what he can do with it. And he'll lace a single for his second hit of the day. And we'll hold Rice at second. So it brings up Fisk who hit a two run home run his last time up. He's also singled. This one's right in the heart of the plate. And he'll get a hold of one now. And this one's going back and deep and gone. So Fisk hits his second home run of the day. This one a three-run job. And that'll put the Red Sox in double digits as they lead now 10 to 3. And Fisk is taking away the game of the player of the day. Um, player of the day honors from Bryce. Now with five RBIs. No. The last two innings for Fisk. He's homing in his last two at bats. So Fred Lynn up now. He's two for three with a double and a single. And he's also walked. And that's going to be it for Hartzell's. Dario Miller comes on. Miller's pitched 27 innings in 13 games and has a 3 and 2 record for 3.95 ERA. That'll be a walk to win. The Red Sox inning continues. Row hammer up. Two for four with a couple of singles. This will be a ground ball to Molnix. He's a free range. He gets in front of it. And he'll make the play over to Fairley for out number three. The Red Sox score another three runs on Fisk, Calvin Fisk's second home run of the day. This one a three-run job. Give the Red Sox a 10-3 lead. So Torres with a very comfortable lead now. Bostock's two for three with a double. And this time he'll get one opposite field and fly out to Evans and right. Except Joe Rudy won 0 for 2 with a walk. And going back to Torres. He'll flip it over to Yastrzemski for out number two. The time is running out for the Angels. And Torres is going to 9-0. He's looking even better. John Baylor up now. He did an RBI single his last time up. And he'll ground out to Burleson, who will rifle it over to Yastrzemski to retire the side. So we head to the ninth to the Red Sox with a seven-run lead. Miller back out there. Evans will lead it off. And an RBI double back in the second. He's one for four on the day. And he'll go around this one to Lansford. For out number one. So we bring up Butch Hobson. He's 
He's got a couple of singles. Two for four on the day and the run scored. He'll get his third hit of the day. As Mullenix is able to get to it. If I decides to hold on to it, didn't want to risk a throw there. So an infield single for Hobson, his third hit of the day. So we'll bring up a rooster, Rick Burleson. And he'll get one over Bostock's head. This one's going to rattle around. Hobson will come in to score. And heading for third. And Burleson will have himself a triple. So we just um, talked about triples not being very common. And there you go. We get one. And that will increase the Red Sox lead now to 11-3. to three. I think we're going to pinch hit for Redding. Why not? Pinch it for Rennie. Uh, bring Frank Guppy, why not? Frank Guppy will come in. Duffy comes in to pinch it for Remy. He's hitting 400 on 20 at bats. And he will line up to Molnix for out number two. Final scores here, Milwaukee down Detroit 3-1, Sykes takes the loss, record drops 1-4, Gold's the winner now 4-1, Milwaukee nips Cleveland so the Red Sox won't get any ground on them, 2-1, Augustine the winner now 6-4, Paxson takes the loss, record drops 1-6, Texas easily beats Toronto 8-2, Chicago squeezed by Kansas City 3-1, Gale takes the loss, record drops to 2-2, two two. Kravick the winner now 4-3, and Oakland defeats the Yankees, so the Red Sox 7-2, so the Red Sox can gain a game, game on the Bronx Farmers. And Baltimore toppled Seattle 5-1. Jim Rice up now. He is 2-4 for four with a homer. And he will draw a walk. The runners at the corners. He's singled his last two times up. And he will fly out to Landro to end the inning. The Red Sox tack on another run. And going to the bottom of the ninth, the Red Sox lead it by eight. Let's see. And Ducky can play. Yeah, he can play second, why not? We'll let him come in here and play second. Bob Bailey to play third base. Can't be any worse than Hobson. <laughs> okay, I'll put in Kendall at first. Which you want All right. So Bailey's at third now. 4E37. Still better than Hobson. Just a little bit. Not much, but... That's pretty sad, and Bob Bailey is better than Butch Hobson at third base. <laughs> Fred Kendall at first now, and Frank Duffy at second, so most of the Red Sox infield has changed. So it'll be fairly Lansford and Downing. Torres trying to finish this one out. And that'll be a grounder to Kendall. He'll take it himself for out number one. So brings up Lansford, who's 0 for 3 on the day. And Lansford will get a pitch to hit here. And he'll get hit by it. <laughs> Actually. That looked like it was going to be good, but broke at the last minute and hits him. So he is on with a hit batsman. 
Brings up Downey, one for three of the double. And he'll draw a walk. Action going in the Red Sox bullpen. Zimmer's at the top of the dugout step, trying to give him a chance to close this out. Molnick's out now, one for three. This will be a ground ball to first. Kendall will take it himself. So two down now for Landro. One for three with an RBI. Runners move up to second and third. And this should, ooh, should do it. Duffy with the range here. He's a three. Gets in front of it. And ooh, just barely gets over to Kendall. Bobbles it a little bit, but recovers. And that'll do it as Torres pitches a complete game. Colin Fist, the hitting star for Boston. Yep, three for five with two homers. Five runs batted in. Let's check out the box score. Oops. Alrighty. So let's check out the box score here. So Torres gets the win. Proves to 9 0 now. Red Sox are now 35 and 17. They were 36 and 16, so they were one, they're one game behind their pace. Keeping up with that. Six hits allowed. Torres would be 8 and 2 on the actual season at this time. So nine hits, six, six hits allowed, nine, nine innings pitched, three runs, all of them earned. Three walks and three strikeouts. Chris Snap takes a loss. He goes to four and six. Six innings pitched. Twelve hits allowed. Seven runs, all of them earned. Two walks and seven strikeouts. And allowed two home runs. One to Rice and one to Fisk. So let's check the Red Sox lineup. But the hitting stars for the Red Sox were Jim Rice. He was two for four with a couple runs scored. Three runs bat in with a three run homer. Mastremski was two for six with a couple runs scored. And Carlton Fisk was three for five with two runs scored and five runs batted in two home runs for Fisk. So Fisk with a great day and a great day all around for the Red Sox offense as they banged out 18 hits. Not much for the Angels going on there while well, Bostock had a couple of hits with a run scored. That's about it as the Angels just managed six hits off of Torres. It's just a complete game. So that will do it. Let's check out the weak stats quickly. The Red Sox with the win, maintain their three-game lead over, over the Milwaukee Brewers. The Yankees with the loss, dropped to seven and a half back now. That's good to see. California with the loss, three and a half behind Kansas City. Who also lost today, so they're still three and a half behind. Texas, four and a half. They've won two in a row. Ooh, the Toronto Blue Jays have lost 15 games in a row. Ouch. <laughs> so they're in a horrible position now. Drop to just 11 and 39. Eight games behind their pace. 11 and 39. First team in the American League. Red Sox are eight and two in their last 10. As are the Minnesota Twins eight and two. Milwaukee's seven and three, so Milwaukee's holding tough. The Yankees are six and four. They've lost three in a row. So that is it. So Mr. Brody and I thank you for joining us. This is Eric for Higher Ground Gaming, my co-host Mr. Brody and my co-hostess Mags. We'll see you in the next game. Let's check out the uh, So they'll be playing, I think, one more against the Angels. Yeah, Sunday game. And it'll be... Dennis Eckersley on the mound for the Red Sox. He's going for his 9.2, possibly. And Frank Tanana. We may have to play another game here. So, right, so thank you for joining me. And we'll see you in the next game against the Angels. Bye-bye now.